Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been thinking about this idea for a while and trying to be creative how I come about it. A lot of off-gridders, a lot of uh, city folks, everybody who has, like, say, a rainwater collection system will compile a, a very unique, very easy to assemble, uh, like, rainwater collection system as, like, as I did on the homemade camper. Simple little porch, drops the rain into the gutter, gutter transforms it down to the line into my 250 gallon tanks. Gives me 500 gallons of storage total because I have two tanks. Now the problem I have is when I did this part of my backyard where I have the camper sitting at currently until I get it off grid is that it flows downhill. So we're on a hilly situation. When I open the valve itself I have a very good head pressure to shoot water out. But when I run a garden hose and try to go uphill, of course, be going uphill will not flow as good as water wanting to go downhill. So I've come up with an easy way, a unique way to really pump water uphill or really pump it where you need to. And this could work for uh, for really anybody that's so off grid or wants to do this in a more, uh, I guess you could say, a simple fashion instead of grabbing like a 110 pump or something that you know uses even more electricity. We're going to try to do this with 12 volts and simple, I would say simple, easy to find items that I found around here to do this. Let me take you over to my little work table and show you what I've got together. Alright, this little experiment we're going to start out with is very simple. I have an actual RV water pump, pair of scissors, little electrical tape, a couple of hose clamps. This right here, making this a little loop is a little short piece of it's a it's a garden hose but it's made for like one of the little reels um, you know you'd hook this to the side of the reel hook it up to your house water so you can feed the real water and I think the only other thing we're gonna end up needing is just some electrical wire and this happens to be from an old pressure washer that I had electric pressure washer when I scrapped it I kept the wire I figured I would come up with something that's is gonna be handy what we're going to be doing is we're going to take water from that spigot off my rain tanks and we're going to try to pump it uphill and see what kind of pressure we can get. Let me go ahead and get set up for this and we'll get going. Alright, first for this little experiment, took my SureFlow uh, camper water pump, went ahead and took the ends off, just temporarily used some electrical tape, uh, wired in the pump. The red wire I just wired into because this is actually three wire. It's your uh, green, black, and white. So it is only used two because we're going to run this off 12 volt. Took the white wire, ran it to the red. That's going to be the power. The black wire, of course, you're negative, so that's done. Well, we just have to make the final connection, which will be inside the camper. It'll be like on an alligator clip system because this pump is not only for homestead use or rainwater collecting this is supposed to be more of a like a portable style pump second step we're going to take a little piece of garden hose which I was lucky to have this around this is something else I had found it's been sitting around choose the scissors what I'm going to do is just cut it right in half there we go <clears throat> going to slice it in half we got go ahead and unscrew it and what we got two separate pieces just about identical lengths start off let's go ahead and do our inlet and this will be the inlet piece so I notice it is going to be there is a hair size difference so we're going to try to work with that um, let's use our hose clamp take our inlet put it on go ahead and uh, singe that down Basically, we're going to do the same thing for the other side. What I did here is there's like a little PEX tubing on here. Went ahead and left that. I don't have the tool out here, and I'd have to run back to the shop to get it. We're going to do the same thing, except with the outlet side. Take, slide them in, slide them into each other, hose clamp them down. Let me get that done, set up, so I don't bore y'all with that quick detail, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Sorry about all this wind noise out here. I can't control Mother Nature. Now, what I did was here... This is the side that didn't have any hose on there. Um, 
I found another little piece of uh, PEX tubing. This is a barb fitting that's right here. Went ahead and put that on. Hose clamp that down. I still need one more hose clamp to make sure, even though this is a barb fitting. What we're going to do is just go ahead. I'll just uh, screw this on. This is the inlet side. And the way, uh, in case you've never played one of these or thinking about it, right here on the front are going to be some arrows. It's This arrow's pointing this way, and this one's pointing out. So what that will basically indicate is water in, water out. And just keep in mind, like I said, this isn't just... You don't have to have just this little piece on here to screw on to like what I had done. And that's have the, right there, the little valve. And I have a garden hose adapter uh, glued in place on that tank. The reason I say this, you could actually cut this here and put some sort of strainer. And this could also be used for camping and other off-grid situations. There's a couple of them I know that have um, streams or creeks nearby and they're constantly complaining about not being able to find ways to run the water into their homes or up into their property well I'm not gonna say a garden hose or this pump can do it but there are ways to do it you could have a small battery sitting next to this with a decent sized solar panel small charge controller to keep that battery charged and you could constantly find ways to run uh, water back to your homestead now the only other thing we're going to do for this demonstration on how to pump this water because if I cut this pump on right now the the little sensor in here is basically going to let the water continuously flow without shutting off and there it senses the water pressure so what we're going to do is just take um, take this little uh, Y I'm going to go ahead and screw it on here and what's funny, you can always do this easier when you're not on the camera. Also make sure your seal is also pushed in tight. Go ahead, screw it on there. Get it nice and tight. Make sure that seal seats. Try not to have no leaks with this. Make sure both, whether you're connecting another garden hose to this. Because this is just really, like I said, this is really just a temporary little pump. Or could be used permanently in an off-grid situation or whatever you'd like to use this for but because of the pump and the way how it works, you got to have something that's controlled off and on. This is just easiest set for demonstration. Let me go ahead and get this pump set up down there. I'll hook up the power and we'll see what is going to happen. Well, all right. Basically, this is how the demonstration works. If you notice, I've connected my inlet over to uh, my valves on my rain tanks comes in I have no leaks the power wire and these connections are just temporary I just use electrical tape I would do better waterproofing uh, something better waterproofing just really to show that how we can do this easily and efficiently and as I stated this right here on the on the outlet to the pump this would be something more suited like I said connect another garden hose this would be more to keep this more simple and portable but now we, I know I got power up here. We uh, everything's hooked up. The water valve's on. Does it work? Could could I pump water uphill to say? Um, let's see if we can get it to some of my fruit trees that are way out there. Now that's <clears throat> from the very. Let's see if I can get it right there. From that first set of plants all the way down, we're talking about the ground drops approximately two foot. So two foot drop doesn't sound like much, but when you're trying to move water around or any kind of situation, it's going to be almost impossible going uphill. With a flick of the off and on valve, looks like I could definitely move water uphill. Um, this pump could keep on going just about forever. Uh, it seems like I have no issues with the amount of water that I could move. The same head pressure that's coming out of the tanks I could definitely have it, I could definitely use that same pressure and continue it now that I have a pump that's going to constantly move it up. And just as well as I'll spraying this water uphill, here it comes back down, uh, rolling to back down the hill back towards me. But you know, this is very easy, efficient, and um, it's a fun little uh, experiment. You know, can't really complain. 
you know, when water's in a pinch and it's the basics for surviving, it's something that we all need and uh, and want. There you go. Very simple, uh, effective little pump using nothing more than an RV style pump. Rainwater collection, like I stated as well. Um, you don't need the head pressure off the tanks. I could take and fabricate some kind of a strainer that would fit right onto that fitting with uh, a longer hose. Instead of cutting my hose short as this one, I could uh, use the full size garden hose, cut the end piece that you'd see normally see on this side, cut this off, <clears throat> use it backwards so I have a longer pull so I can keep the pump a further away from a stream, pond, any kind of water source. Use the strainer to pump it because you don't want to get trash up in this pump. Pump it through here, hook another garden hose up, and my uh, water uh, my water is going to be unlimited with a good water source. So as always, guys, please rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up if you really enjoy this demonstration. Thank you so much.